Our weather is very diverse. We have been in a pretty rough drought spell since 2011. And our water is declining rapidly. We've had to be very diligent with the moisture that we have. We're doing a lot more conservation tillage any way we can to conserve moisture. We were introduced to Magro over three years ago when it first started coming to West Texas. We saw the benefit of being able to cut our water usage down, therefore to make our sprayers more efficient. We put the Magro on in April of 21, so we're starting, the, we're in the middle of our third season running it. We're seeing just as good a kill, if not better. We can run into the intense heat and low humidity longer because the water is attracted to the plant and actually sticks on the target. Some instances we're cutting our water down by 40%. A lot of times we're running 20% versus conventional sprayer. Some of the contact killers we may be cutting 10 to 20% of the recommended rate. So with that being said, a 25 to 40% reduction in carrier, that reduces your surfactant load and that in turn presents quite a bit of savings. And we felt like that's enough savings to pay for the macro. Here in West Texas, we have wind very sustained a lot of times and it, it does get miserable trying to run a sprayer trying to keep all your neighbors happy and keep your own crops happy trying to keep on target you can see from the cab that your chemical does go down and you do not see the swirls out into the other off-target field that we used to see with the conventional sprayer you can see chemical on the bottom of the leaves on both sides of the leaves and down on the stalk we feel like it's penetrating the canopy better than just directly spraying on top of it. There's no mechanical moving parts to the Magro. It's all done with magnets, so you're not stopping and working on anything else all the time. And also reducing the amount of water that we're running, so we are keeping the sprayer in the field, spraying as many hours a day as we can versus reloading all the time. I'm usually the sprayer driver and the operator on it, so it makes a lot of difference. We're not seeing any problems with it. We're not seeing any chemical buildup inside the booms as long as you flush out on a normal basis and do your normal maintenance. It's no more cleanup than you would a normal sprayer. The system, and as simple as it is to install, we can move it over to a new sprayer. Our job as farmers is to be stewards of the land. And by running something like the Magro, I feel like that we are getting our chemicals on the target that they belong and getting good performance out of those chemicals to make the technology last as long as we can. We feel like it's been a benefit. Well, straight up, honestly, we figured that if we could save a dollar an acre on surfactant, we would pay for it within a year and a half, and we, su we succeeded by that. And it, from there on out, any benefit we see of it is return on investment. Unlike some of the other electronic technologies that you think you bought the best on the market, and five years later, it's going to the scrap pop. This, I feel like, will last.